I was keeping, can you see I'm doing that? I was keeping my movements very close together. I'm not pressing here and then going there and then going there and then going there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel which is all about educational beauty. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to apply eyeshadow like a pro. The basics, this is going to be everything that you need to know when it comes to applying eyeshadow. I'm going to show you how you can just master a really nice eyeshadow look which looks like it's been done by a pro or you know you're a makeup artist but I wanted to make it really easy for you guys. Now, if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And I'm over on Instagram, so come say hi there too. Now let's head straight into the video. Okay, so I am gonna really, really break this down for you guys because I have a lot of you guys commenting on some of my videos saying that, oh, you make it look so easy. Like you love the look, but you make it look so easy. I'd never be able to do that. I don't want you guys to feel that. Like honestly, when I'm doing my videos, I really do break it down, but I know that maybe it looks easier than what it is, you know, especially when it's someone like me who's been doing it for so long. So I really wanted to break this one down for you. It's a really easy eyeshadow look and I feel like it's something that when it's done can look like a pro's done it. Like it looks like, okay, she knows how to do her makeup. Like she's good. So I want you to feel like that. And I want you to feel like it's easy to do. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to break down an eye look for you. And I'm, I'm going to like explain every single bit. Not that I don't usually, but I feel like I'm really going to focus on that today. So usually maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the face. And I want to make sure that, you know, the whole video isn't going to be an hour and a half or two hours. So, you know, I do kind of like explain as I'm going along what buffing means and what blending means to you but I'm going to spend a bit longer on that today so not longer than an hour and a half I mean I'm going to focus totally on the eye so you don't have to worry about the rest of the face you don't have to worry about anything else we are purely doing eyeshadow today so let's get started I'm going to use my Sigma firm shader brush which is E57 now this brush is a flattish kind of shape and it's the reason I'm using this is because this is what I can actually apply my eyeshadow with because it's not so much about the fluff it's more so about how flat it is without having a too much of a harsh edge to it so it's a slightly rounded edge then that means that I can really kind of place the eyeshadow there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my makeup by Maria master pat master <laughs> master pat master matte palette and I'm using the shade matte eight now I'm going to just press the brush into the palette so I'm just pressing it onto the eyeshadow so that I've really kind of got it I'm going to show you here how I press it right so I've got my brush there and I'm pressing it like that right so that's what I'm doing I'm not moving it around I'm just literally pressing I want you to watch carefully so this is where I've taken off the excess so what I do is I just kind of like go like that and it just takes off all the excess so that we don't get too much of it dropping on the rest of the face although I'm not too fussed about that at the moment because I just want to show you the eyeshadow look so okay now the side that we have all of the color on that we've been pressing into the eyeshadow palette we're going to just press this here we're going to press it onto the eye let me explain this this is the very start of my lash line here and pressing it on what I want to do is I want to create a nice shape I want to make sure that I don't go above my socket my socket is this area here that indents in and sometimes people call it the crease it's not so much the crease it is the socket line so this is your socket area so I want to make sure I don't go above that so every now and again if you want to dip back into your eyeshadow you can do so and flick off the excess now I'm going to press it here and can you see that it's going to end up looking like a semicircle because that's the shape of the socket right so we're pressing it here and we've made sure that look it, it, it starts here really nicely so it's not kind of like going too far out now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there I've done it about a quarter of the way we're going to leave this center section I'm going to now start the same thing at the end and we're doing it from the end of the lash line going up into the socket but not above can you see I'm just pressing? I'm not moving it. You've got to make sure you only press. If you start moving around, you're trying to blend. Don't blend. Forget about the blending at the moment. Okay, can you see now we've got this section here that we've applied and we've got that section there. Kind of looks like a semicircle without the middle part. What we're going to do is we're not going to actually apply anything on the middle, but we do want to really kind of connect to the top section here. So it does become a semicircle. So what we're focusing on is getting it into that socket. 
Can you see we've got a full semicircle now and there's not much color on the center? That's what we were going for. Now what we're gonna do, we've got that color and it's nicely kind of even all over. And the reason it's even is because when I was pressing, I was keeping, can you see I'm doing that? I was keeping my movements very close together. I'm not pressing here and then going there and then going there and then going there. I was pressing, I was pressing here and then I was like moving it along. But when I'm moving it to another section, I've lifted the brush off before I'm moving it, right? So I'm not dragging the brush across the skin. That's that done. Now we're gonna go in with my Zoeva 231 brush. There is nothing on this brush. This is now gonna be my blending section. So this is where I'm gonna start blending the area where you can see that harsh line, the socket. Forget about the, the center section. We don't wanna touch that because we've got really nice color there. Why would we wanna ruin that? So we wanna go on this harsh area here that we can see the edges and we wanna soften it. So this is where we're gonna grab hold can you see I'm just pressing it here and I'm just gonna press keep pressing if you are not used to this don't try and rush yourself just just really take it easy because eventually you will get quicker and quicker at it so all I'm doing is I'm pressing what I want you to know is when you're pressing you can slightly flick outwards because what we want what we want to do is we want to blend that color but we also want to drag it out just a very small amount right can you see I'm doing the same here so I want to blend but I also want to drag it out a little bit. Right, I'm pressing and dragging. I would say it's more pressing and flicking than dragging. I'm not dragging, I'm flicking, right? So we're pressing and flicking. There you go. Can you see that slightly blended out now? Now we're gonna to get to this top section here. We're gonna just press. We're not focusing on whether we're flicking or not. We're just gonna press. Okay, now we're gonna work our way in, but we're not touching the center bit. We're gonna press into the socket, pressing. And as I'm pressing, I'm moving along, but I'm not dragging. You will be surprised at how much of a simple technique it is to actually make sure that the edges look blurred. Sometimes when you guys say you make it look so easy, it's because it actually is, but it's, I feel like a lot of people overcomplicate over over it. So yeah, that's what I feel that the issue is. So okay, what we've done, we've kind of like softened that whole edge of where we've applied the eyeshadow. Now I am gonna go into a slightly darker color. I'm gonna go into matte 10, and I'm using that first brush I use, so I'm pressing it into there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply, do the exact same shape on either side, but smaller. So I'm just gonna kind of like press it in, but it's slightly smaller. There you go. So we've got the same thing. Now I'm gonna go back in with that Zoeva brush and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna press and flick. And it's up to you how far you want it out. So you could flick it a bit more if you want, or you can keep it pretty kind of like small. So it depends how big your flick size is. So I'm gonna flick a bit bigger because I want it to be kind of dragged out a bit more. And then I'm gonna to get to this point here. I'm just gonna press and then we're gonna get here. I'm gonna press. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my Zoeva brush again and I'm gonna go into matte 10. So I'm pressing it onto the brush here. So I want you to see, I'm gonna go into matte 10 and I'm pressing it in, just pressing it very lightly. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take off the excess. You can use the back of your hand or you can use a tissue if you want. So I'm gonna show you on a tissue. I'm just taking it off like that, I'm pressing it on, that's it. Whatever's left on here now, this is where I am gonna move the brush. I'm gonna go into the socket. Just the socket, and I'm just gonna like, gonna go like that. Can you see I'm just like, I'm pressing very lightly. My pressure is like the brush is skimming across my skin. I'm happy with that now. So now what I wanna do is I wanna add some to the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna use my Sigma E30 brush. I'm gonna go into matte eight and I'm pressing it in the same way I did with the first one. I'm gonna press this once onto the brush. Let me just see, yeah. And now this is where I'm gonna go into the lash line. So the trick is here when you're doing the, the under eye area, you wanna go into the lash line. Unless you want a very open eye look and, and then you kind of like go below because you wanna keep that, your waterline kind of like clean. But I like to go right into the lashes and I just go very tiny movements back and forth. So I'm just going here and then I move across to the next section. And then I move across to the next section. So I'm gonna do that all the way across with whatever's on the brush. 
and I can feel I'm going into the lash line. I'm gonna go back into that color, pat it once onto the tissue, and I'm gonna do the same thing again. Always start from the outer corner because the outer corner of the lash line is okay to look a bit darker than the inner corner for this type of look. Now I'm just gonna go back and forth now. So I'm going back to the beginning, which is the end of the lash line. And then I'm gonna move across. Like when I say beginning, I mean it's where we started from. Now what I'm doing is whatever's left on the brush, I'm kind of like very lightly connecting it to here so that it doesn't look like anything's left separate and doesn't look disconnected. Now, how much I'm pressing this is super light. Honestly, it's just skimming the skin. This, these are little things, that, the things that I'm telling you are so important in, in actually getting this finish. How hard you press the brush against the skin makes the world of difference. If you were to press it hard on every point of like every section of me doing this, it would come out completely different. So that's a really important factor. So now that we've done that, I'm gonna go in with a cream eyeshadow Shadow. and this one is the Natasha Denona chromium liquid eyeshadow in dog bane and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this on that center section that's really empty there right so I'm gonna apply it right on my lash line there but I'm gonna apply it like this I'm not going all the way up into the socket by the way I want to leave that area because we applied eyeshadow there right now this is where I'm gonna use my finger so I'm just gonna press Sometimes I think it's easier if you use a little finger because you're not kind of like moving it around everywhere. So I'm just really focusing on touching the edges to make sure they don't look so harsh. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use my Sigma E05 brush and I'm gonna go into matte 12, which is a black, and I'm just pressing it in. Same way I did with that first eyeshadow brush. And this is where I'm gonna go right at the end of the lash line and I'm just gonna add a little bit of darkness here because I want a very, very slight, not flick, but you'll see what I mean. I've drawn a little flick there at the moment, but it's not gonna stay a flick. I've just gone from the end of the lash line. It's actually a little bit above the end of the lash line. And I'm keeping the brush flat. I'm not using the tip, so I'm pressing the whole flat part. The whole side of the brush is pressed up against my skin. It's very light there, so it's not pressing hard. And then I'm gonna get my finger and I'm gonna drag the end of that flick a little bit. Again, pressing very softly. So I'm just dragging it a very little bit. Now, this is where I'm gonna take that Sigma E30 brush. There's not really anything left on it. I was using a dark shade. And this is where I'm just gonna like press once into that black, once onto the back of my hand. And now what I'm doing is I'm using the tip and I'm basically gonna drag the color from the flick inwards towards the kind of rest of the eye, very lightly. So I'm dragging it. And I'm just making sure I'm not going below that flick. I'm kind of like just dragging the flick inwards towards the middle of the eye. So can you see I'm just very slowly, very lightly and slowly, just kind of like dragging it in. When you're working with black, you don't need a lot on the brush. So all we've done here is just darkened that outer section and underneath we've got a bit of a bit of a clean flick, right? And above it, it's blended into the eyeshadow so it doesn't look like we've actually got eyeliner on. Now the next step is just applying a little bit of mascara or your lashes. Now I'm just gonna use my Byredo Space Black Mascara because I want you to see how this looks finished with some mascara on. I feel like this is gonna be really easy for you guys to do. And I wanted to show you something which isn't so easy that it's like, okay, you know, we're not that bad, you know, as in we're, we're pretty good generally with makeup. I want you to kind of do something which is a little bit different for you maybe. So this is just an, a really kind of easy way of application. And I really wanted to break down every section for you so that you can understand how I'm actually applying it. And obviously you can go a little bit darker with the colors if you want, but anyway, I'm I'm gonna just go ahead and do the other eye so that you can see both of them side by side. This section, I'm gonna kind of like rush through it, not rush through it, but like speed through it so that you guys can watch it, but it isn't like generally talking through. So there you go, the other eye is done as well. And I really hope that you've seen that this is easy for you guys. And I really do hope that you try this out. Get your makeup, get any eyeshadow, get some brushes which are similar to what I've shown you. And then lay everything out, hit start, 
and then do it with me and keep pressing pause wherever you need to catch up or you need to like rewind to just rewatch it again i can guarantee you if you keep doing this if you keep practicing if you watch it through a few times do it with me i feel like you're gonna you're gonna get better you're gonna love it you're gonna be so much better at it and once you are and you've mastered that whole kind of like using your brushes using the right part of it pressing it onto the skin the pressure as well getting used to the different pressures of pressing against your skin then i feel like you're going to get much better at it and you can utilize different colors you can like be a bit more like adventurous and try different things and yeah i i know you're gonna get better i've taught so many different students along the way in my career and honestly the best thing i can tell you is practice keep practicing you've got to follow a routine though because if you just keep trying and trying and you don't actually have any kind of method to what you're doing then you're not going to really be able to kind of master it so that's why i'm saying hit play pause it whenever you need to do it with me and i think you're going to master it really well I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's all kind of made sense to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.